So, my book was From Sand Creek by Simon Ortiz. And Simon Ortiz is a Acoma Pueblo Native American. And he was born in 1941 in New Mexico. And From Sand Creek is a collection of poetry, actually, that reflects on the Sand Creek Massacre in Colorado and its effect on Native American peoples even long after it happened. So, some, a, little, a little bit of historical context. The Sand Creek Massacre happened in November of 1864, and an army of 700 soldiers under the command of Colonel John Chivington attacked a camp of 600 Cheyenne and Arapaho Native Americans camped on the bank of Sand Creek in southeast Colorado, so right there. In total, 105 women and children and 28 men were killed. And the sad and ironic thing was that the camp was flying the American flag, and the flag had been given to them by Abraham Lincoln. Um, to actually, the leader of the camp, whose name was Black Kettle, and one of, uh, just the year before. So, two months, and also, two months before the massacre, Black Kettle had also gone to Denver and spoken with the governor, John Evans, and the Colonel Chivington, who actually massacred them, and with the express intent of establishing peaceful relations between the government and his tribe. <laughs> so by the next year, in, so yeah, that was the massacre. And by the next year, in 1865, all the Cheyenne and Arapaho were driven out of Colorado and into Oklahoma. Um, so, the book, like I said before, is a collection of retrospective poems, and each one is accompanied by a short one or two sentence description. On the left side, on the left hand page, and on the right hand page is the poem. And the, those two sentences just kind of describe what the poem's going to be about. So while there's not really any plot throughout the book, uh, it connects the um, the violence that happened at the Sand Creek Massacre with the violence that happened in Korea and how that affected both the Indians and war veterans. Uh, so several of the poems are from the perspective of Native American veterans in La Junta, which is down here, very close to where the massacre happened, and in Fort Lyon, struggling to find ways, ways to deal with the violence they experienced in the Korean War. So the major issues that the book uh, addresses are violence and victimization, so it discusses how European cultures moved into America and mistreated the people, animals, and land there. And it also equates this with the violence um, experienced in Korea by veterans and how that affected them. Another thing it talks about is memory. So for example, how memory of violence continues to affect people long after the violence is passed and kind of PTSD experienced by veterans. Um, so Ortiz uses poetry to express the feelings of fear, sadness, helplessness, and oppression that change the feelings and actions of people long after they've been traumatized by violence or oppression. So this book has actually had really good critical reception. Uh, in 1981, it received the Pushcart Prize in Poetry. And according to the Bloomsbury Review, it is one of the classic books of Native American poetry, and Ortiz's ravishing and haunting tribute to the tragedy at Sand Creek has never been equaled. So, that is from Sand Creek. Uh, personally, I really enjoyed the book. It had some really great imagery of Colorado's landscape, uh, like the plains and the mountains. And overall, I would definitely recommend the book for anyone who wants to understand Native American culture because it really shows how the abuses of Native Americans in the past still affect their communities at a cultural level, and it's kind of a, a presence in their, in their community. So yeah, that is From Sand Creek by Simon Ortiz.